This tutorial shows the calculation of the effect size following a significant paired Wilcoxon sign rank test in SPSS. Unfortunately, SPSS does not calculate an effect size for you. However, to calculate the effect size R, a simple division is sufficient. For R, you need to divide the absolute value of the standardized test statistic Z by the square root of the number of observations. When we look closely in the second table, you can spot both, total n being the number of paired observations and the standardized test statistic right above the significance. Please note that some sources will not use the number of pairs for n, but rather the number of pairs times 2. Whatever you favor, I would advise reporting that. In my example, I divide 5.474 by the square root of 50. I can either do that in Excel, Google Sheets or use the calculator. If you want the calculation to be as exact as possible, I would recommend using Excel or Google Sheets and copy the standardized test statistic with all decimals available and do the calculation there. The resulting effect size for my example has a value of 0.774, rounded to 3 decimals. Finally, you need to classify the magnitude of this effect. If similar studies in your research field exist, compare your effect size with the given one. Ideally, those studies also discuss the choice of n. If no comparable study exists, though, use the common threshold within your research field. If those are also non-existent, you can refer to Cohen92, a power primer on page 157, which shows three thresholds for the effect size R, with 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0.5 for small, medium and large effects. In my example, 0.774 is well above the threshold for a large effect, if I use Cohen's thresholds. When you're done, you have to write up the results. The video that appears now will show you how.